song, but we had a special music play it for us. So let's uh, take advantage of the time, or I'll take advantage of the time, and let's turn to 1 Timothy chapter 3. <laughs> First Timothy chapter 3. And this morning we're going to look at verse 1. Well, actually, we're only going to look at one verse, one word in verse 1. Let's look at, let's read the verse. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. Let's pray. Father, we do thank you for this time that we have to Assemble together around your word. We pray, Lord, as we look at this important chapter, as we begin to study it, Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit would guide us, teach us, enable us to see these truths, Lord, and help them to become our convictions. Uh, Father, based upon your word, we do pray that your Holy Spirit would teach each one of us now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In chapter 3, Paul is continuing his uh, theme of order in the church. He mentioned the order of men and women in uh, chapter 2. Now he continues the concept of order in the church, and he describes two groups of church officers in chapter 3. They're called bishops in verses 1 through 7, and they're called deacons in verses 8 through 13. And then finally, at the end of the chapter, Paul speaks about the overall behavior uh, that is fitting and appropriate for the house of God. So that's kind of an overview.